cooking today is a special evening i'm going to be making red chili we use this red chili on everything we use it for enchiladas we use it for pork we use it for thanksgiving over your turkey so i'll be making red chili this is usually a family hit also but i got a cooking partner today and my first ever collab with this person. So I'm excited to share the kitchen with her. And she's gonna be making her own side of part of her dish. And hopefully we don't end up fighting in the kitchen. So I'll show you who this collab is. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, our first, well, my first collab with Warren, we're actually gonna cook together. We do sometimes, but this is the first for the vlog, for the channel. So what are you making on your side? I am making my delicious fry, my delicious fry bread, and I'm preparing the meat. Yep, so there you have it. She's my cooking partner. <laughs> Hopefully we don't fight. <laughs> And say move over move over <laughs> go cook on that side so yeah our first collab you guys can see some family drama a little bit so did the cook off begin just kidding <laughs> <laughs> okay for my red chili sauce i'm gonna be using garlic what's left of this maybe like a, a tablespoon i'm using dry cilantro so I'm using that, I'll be using a white onion. So I'm using Mexican oregano. I'm using this chicken flavor powder stuff that only Sue cooks with. <clears throat> I'm using kosher salt, so I'll be using salt. I'll be using pepper, and I'll be using New Mexico red chili. This is a mild flavor. The spices go from mild to extra hot, but you know, we got a little baby in the apartment so we gotta watch out for her taste buds too but this is what i'm gonna do for my red chili sauce and we'll get this stuff ready okay so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open up this red chili bag see who's over there so we can get her meat diced up on that side and they come out dry like this if you shake it, you can hear the seeds in there. I got water right here, getting ready to boil. And I'm just gonna take out these seeds, so I'm just gonna break it apart from the top. And all the seeds are gone. So I'm just gonna throw it in the water and let it hydrate. Somebody's gonna start choking pretty soon. It be me. <laughs> so again, just take out the seeds. You can leave the seeds in if you want. You can use this sauce for enchiladas too. I usually make this with red enchiladas.
So I got about 14 pieces in here that I put in there. So we're using uh, pork ribs, country style pork ribs for this recipe. It's pretty simple, it's easy to make, it don't take too long. So here's about five minutes in. Water got to boil. about another five more minutes and then I'm gonna put it in the blender but uh, I'm not gonna use the water from this because you can if you want but it just makes your sauce taste a little more bitter so I'm gonna use plain water for that one or you can use um, chicken stock if you want but that's why I got this powder right here so I'm gonna use reuse a uh, reuse I'm gonna use I'm gonna use water Okay, so I took out the um, chili pods and I put them in here. I dumped out that water. I'm going to use a half onion. And do about a tablespoon of salt. Same thing for I'm going to do two of the dry cilantro. Mexican oregano. I'm going to do like half of the, probably one tea, tablespoon, teaspoon. Tablespoon of black pepper. Probably a tablespoon of garlic. Make that too. Got some water right here. Just enough to cover all this. Okay, I got this all blended up. I blended it on low for about three minutes. And then I did medium for about one minute. And then I did high for like 30 seconds. So that's how it looks. And <clears throat> you can use the sauce like this if you want, but I'm gonna strain it and then I'm gonna put it back in this pot. Oven again or burger. <laughs> <laughs> so I got it straight. This is just the liquid. <clears throat> and I got it back on the flame. And I'm going to simmer it for about 20 minutes. And then we're going to let Sue finish up on her pork meat. She's going to fry that. And then after that, we're going to add our red chili into that pork meat and let it simmer. While it's simmering, she's going to do fry bread. So 
I can't wait for that. My tummy's getting bigger and bigger while I'm here on vacation, so that's how it looks. And other than that, we haven't fought yet. She's just in my way. I can't wash the dishes right now. This kitchen's not made for the both of us. But we're getting along. She's doing okay. I'm doing okay. I'm not talking to her. She's not talking to me. She's in her zone. <laughs> <laughs> so, she's almost done cutting up and we're gonna start on her meat after that and get this going. So, just an update. How are we doing? Good. Good, there's the chili, look at that. Chili smells really good. She said chili smells really good. You can't smell it. We probably won't end up using all this chili. If we do, I don't know, we'll see. If not, then you can freeze it and use that red chili for something else. Uh, we have another dish coming off red chili, huh? Yep. So. <clears throat> it's a secret. It's a secret menu. Like Nevaeh says, McDonald's has a secret hot dog. <laughs> what did she say this morning? She said McDonald's has another secret menu. A new secret menu, and it's um, McTaco. McTaco. <laughs> I don't know where she comes up with this stuff. It's internet, of course. But you guys see me going to the intercom or Sue saying, "Could I get two McTacos?" <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna look at us all weird. And we told the bay, I said, you order it then. She's like, no, you guys order it. You guys are driving. The first one, she said it was a McDog. A McDog, which is a hot dog, I guess. So if you guys that work at McDonald's, if we have anybody who works at McDonald's, is there anything like that, like a secret menu? Not that I'm gonna try it, but just asking. The bay always talks about it, but we never asked for it. Well, we really don't go to McDonald's. We went there. Just for the McRib. The McRib and the other day for the Speaking of the video. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. She's already Tell them about your secret menu. What secret menu? At McDonald's. Oh, that one that has the McTaco. See. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you hear about that? Um, so do you guys go around to McDonald's and try to make taco? And tell us if the bay is right. <laughs> but we're doing good. She's getting ready to make bread over there. Uh, if you guys haven't seen her make bread, go to her Apache wife makes Navajo tacos. So she's gonna make bread on that side. It's gonna go with her red chili pork. And the pork dish you guys can make with anything. You guys can Pour it over mashed potatoes. Uh, you guys can do it over rice. You guys can do it over stuffing. But uh, we're, you guys can eat it with corn tortillas, white tortillas. But since we're native and we like to eat anything with fried bread, that's what we're eating it with red chili and fried bread. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like, um, the stuff I read, you said, huh? That you guys make up there. No? Yeah. Sort of like a stuff I wear, but this is just um, meat and red chili. And yeah. sometimes they put cheese on it. I love cheese on mine, so. Yeah, she likes cheese, so. We have some cheese. We have a whole block, we still don't have it open. Which I was supposed to use in the last video last video but i found some cheese so the cheese that we like to use all the time is always the sharp sharp cheddar so and that goes our navajo tacos our street tacos except our pizza if we make pizza um, goes under omelets everything but the meat's coming good the flour's coming good the red chili is boiling right there so there's your chili, it's going. There's our meat. 
And there's her fibroid mm -hmm. hopes. She hit you guys. Sorry. You guys okay? <laughs> you guys took an elbow. It's best to stay away from her when she's using her dough. <laughs> we'll stay on this side. Oh, by the way, Nevaeh fixed her hair. If you guys haven't noticed it. Nevaeh is the one that braided her hair. Oh yeah, Nevaeh braided my hair. <clears throat> she was sitting there, she said, Nevaeh fixed my hair, and Nevaeh fixed it, so. Nevaeh is going to be a stylist pretty soon. Yeah. Okay, so now we just transferred uh, the pork meat into the red sauce. And we're going to let this simmer for about another 30, 40 minutes. So we took all that out, we put it in here, use the strainer. And you can do what you want from here. You guys can add frozen corn if you want, canned corn. You guys can do um, potatoes. Dice them up like, um, like a hash. Put that in here. So, but we're just having it as, we're just pork meat oil. So, we're gonna get started on the fibroid and let that simmer. Okay, so we both got done with dinner. They yep. <laughs> So we both got done with dinner. Um, she's gonna taste. She's gonna taste it and then let's see how we did for her. Okay. <laughs> You're supposed to say how it tastes. Okay, they should got shy in a moment, so. Yeah, well, she got shy eating. No, yeah, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> but we're done. That's what we made. Uh, pork red chili with uh, fried bread. My good. favorite. It's, it's really, really good. Shredded. It's sharp well, shredded cheese on top. Yeah. Inside. And this is one of her favorite dishes to eat, so mm -hmm. that's our dinner for tonight. And we thank you guys for watching again. So, what do we tell them to do? Like, oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed, like the video, and comment. if you like to comment, mm -hmm. let us know how we're doing. We like to read the comments. Okay, yeah, so we're going to sit down and eat now and on to the next video. We'll see you guys. We'll see ya. Have a good night. Bye. Peace.